Okay. <clears throat> I, um, through some clever COCing, I was warping around to catch up to where I was. We're gonna auto save right here. And look, they're not even there because that was a random encounter. That was brutal. <laughs> Hostile? Friendly? Nope. I like his helmet. Ooh. Oh, I lose the bracer. Oh, I lose the shoulder pad. I want a backpack. That's what I want. I gotta keep a lookout for that. The backpack was another one of those where it was part of like a a mercantile mod where it changed the uh, how merchants function mechanically with their stock. And I'm like, I didn't want to change that, but then I was gonna go for it. And then that one required a, a, a overhaul mod, and I'm like, I don't want to overhaul. See, this, this is what I was talking about. So I gotta go a little bit downward. I'm gonna look paranoia save every now and then. Ow. One of the things I learned playing this game is almost not worth exploring tombs without doing quests because there's a chance that they'll have the bone walkers which can permanently destroy your stats without, I mean, you can restore it through shrines and stuff. But it's kind of hell at lower levels. I forgot to mention. Like, why is this low res? I thought I got a mod for this. I wanted to get like a flora mod, but it wasn't working. It was loading me in with like 10,000 errors. By the same person who did all the tree replacements and such. Oh well. Ow. Ashland biome. Oh, you all. Come on down. Come on. I'm keeping an eye on them. I wonder if these trees are stopping them or something. I think these trees were added. I think that's why they're having trouble getting to me, because I think these are new. From one of my, like... One of the tree replacer mods that I got. I still can't get over there. I'm almost in Margan. There you are. Come on. I'm just going to Margan at this point. Cutting in a little bit. She she. Hey, 
Can you get why those guys that these were a meme? Before there was a word for meme, these guys were a meme. Ow. Wow, you got here quick. Come on. Let me in, let me in. <clears throat> Can I Do these have collision? Not really. I'm saying, can I climb? No, no, I'm going right through them. Their aesthetic. Which is fine. This is a completely like revisioning of the Ashland. This didn't look like this. This doesn't look like this in the vanilla game. <laughs> Another one right there. Sometimes I don't know they're there until the music starts. That one didn't aggro. But I'm finally through it. What is that? That's an autosave. That's what that is. Dad, I think that's main quest relevant, maybe. I've never seen that before. That's cool. Eh. Not that I need the money, but... Friendly? I shall enjoy watching you take your last breath. Okay, I should still have levitation potions. Right there, okay, that'll work. You haven't a chance against me. Die with honor and power! Take a uh, Daedric Lord offerings. Hoo, 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 hoo. If you take their offerings, they'll summon like a defense. Levitation oh, not needed. Kill that guy, these boots are ruined. Oh, I thought that was a shadow.
Thousand gold. All right. These dreams are the black lies of the Sharma Tigger. Tigger himself is mad. He's dead, but he dreams he lives. He hears laughter and love, but he makes monsters and ghouls. He woos as a lover, but he reeks with fear and disgust. Do not listen. Do not go to him. All right. look like the Nerebrain, but you do not speak like a fool or a madman. This is a puzzle. Go speak with Zebamund in his yurt. He is a Gulakan, Soul Muscles champion, and he will decide what's right. That's me. Uh, where am I going? Zebamund. Is that one of these, I thought? Just letting me enter in the chieftain's here. So now I can talk to him without him yelling at me. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and. <laughs> Undergo a harrowing. Judged by the spirits and ancestors to see if you are worthy. <clears throat> Fetch. Soul Senepool's Bone Biter Bow. I remember this. Alright. <clears throat> South, southeast of camp. North facing door. If I remember, going to visit south, south, so that's south, so it's a little bit more south, east, or a little bit more south than east, so it's basically right in this direction. Six House of Mace and Shield. Cool. That's yet another thing I wanted to add. I wanted to add like a weapon mod that adds like 500 weapons into the weapon listing, but it, I ran into the same problem as I explained last time. It wanted it wanted me to put in an overhaul mod. I don't want to overhaul. I just kind of wanted to pretty it up a little bit. I lost my place, but it's over here somewhere. Friendly? Oh, oh, you look gross and creepy. Wow. 
Why do I not have a logo over here? I should be seeing paths. There we go. South, southeast. So it's in this general area. But I've, I kind of lost the narrative when I turn turn myself around. It's right here, I think. Yep. For a reason, though, might as well use it. Oh, ass. <laughs> oh, God. I need to stay still, jump, and you go. There we go. I am probably due for some repairing. I don't know why I'm still only 153, because I got the boots. I have every piece on. My light armor is a hundred. I don't know. But glass armor is more or less one of the best sets in the game, so. Muscle memory is telling me to turn left. You know, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. <gasps> Ouch. I am taking some damage. Despite being at a negative 30 difficulty rating. I still think Morrowind comes alive giving all those warriors a paralyzation and strength destroying acts is kind of messed up I think it's here oh there it is Keep that telekinesis ring. I did not. Unfortunate. Now, if I use an, an um, CV intervention, where is it going to warp me to? I should probably just leave. Because this was before the days where they would just give you. 
like a, a route to just go straight out. I don't think Oblivion even did that, but Oblivion was is much smaller. Their their caves and such were very small. That one flawlessly. I know there was a cliff racer. Yep, there it is. I seen it. Okay. That's a feature of more when comes alive. I feel like a lot of the design choices of more when were very deliberate. So when you run into random stuff like that, it's like. Mm. Oh. Yeah, base game. This was not this populated. There's like two people outside walking around. Keep the bow, bear it with honor. You may rest in any Urshalaku bed, do not harm other tribe members, or take their things. Go to the wise woman's yurt, and Nibani and Mesa shall examine you and test you against the neighboring prophecies. I find it hard to believe that you are the neighboring. You are an outlander. But the Nerevin, the Nerevarine comes to drive all outlanders from Morrowind. How could an outlander be the incarnate? The great houses stole our lands and mocked us with false gods. The godless outlanders steal our land and our dignity. The Nerevarine is the last hope the Ashlanders have. I will not let an outlander steal this hope for us. These are serious words, Div. Words of life and death. I see honor and merit in you. And I'm proud to name you Clan Friend, but take care of what you say and do in the name of the Narrow Friend. Now go question the wise woman. Ah. All y'all. <laughs> You are not the Nerevrain. You are one who may become the Nerevrain. You are born on a certain day of uncertain parents. This is part of the prophecy. But many have the same birthday, and many are not sure of their parents. It is interesting, but it does not make you the Nerevrain. Moon and Star. Legend says Indoral Nerevar's family standard bore the moon and star, and Nerevar's armor and weapons bore the sign. Some say he bore a moon and star birthmark. Some say he has a magic ring marked with moon and star. Others say he was born under moon and star. That's a lot of moon and stars. And in any case, I think the moon and star is the mark of the Nerevar. And you do not have this mark, so you are not the Nerevar. Whew, that is a mouthful. I gotta need a drink after reading that paragraph. Mm. Jeez. Ugh. 
sleepers. Rumors say that in the towns, mad cults of sleepers are attacking people, saying that Dagothir has awakened and will drive the Outlanders from Lorwyn. Perhaps it is just a coincidence, but I think this is a sign of the Nerebrew. Not necessarily, not necessarily a sign that you are the Nerebrew. Perhaps the time of the Nerebrew has... He's saying the same words over and over again. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I get it. Jeez. Ugh. I think this is a case of they wrote this specifically just to be written. This is not stuff that gets said out loud. Because they didn't. They only had like the three voice actors at the time. When the earth is sundered, the skies choke black, and sleepers serve the seven curses. To the heart there comes a stranger, journeyed far neath moon and star. Though stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks a certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest a stranger's fate, the curse is vain. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall, but one remains. See, that's a very smooth read. That's like that. That just can't. That just fit. That flowed well. Doesn't have to rhyme. It just has to be, you know, like that. That that, that was cool. All right. Dissident priests of the temple study our Nerebrain prophecies and record them in books. You must go to them for these books and bring what you find to me. Okay, I think this is finally got my quest out of this. Alright. Oh! 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 Alright, what do we got here? What he puts his hand to. First trial. On a certain day, to uncertain parents, in our planet, our incarnate moon and star reborn. It's the birth sign. Let's go back. Second trial. Neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. In caverns dark, Azura's eyes sees, and makes the sh makes to shine the moon and star. A stranger's voice unites the houses. Three halls call call him Horator. Hortator. Okay. Fifth trial. A stranger's hand unites the Velothi. Four tribes call him their brain. He honors the blood of the tribe unmourned. He eats their sin and is reborn. His mercy frees the cursed false god, finds finds the broken, redeems the mad. He speaks the law for Velothi's people Veloth's people. He speaks for the land, their names make him great. Okay, so they, she doesn't know what the second trial means. A Hortator is a war leader chosen by the Dumba Great Houses. So chosen when Dunmer Great Houses must put aside their normal feuds to unite against the common enemy. This has not happened since the Empire invaded our land. And the fifth one is just uniting all the, the main Ashlander tribes. The tribe unmourned might mean the sixth house. Yeah, Alm CV, Alm Alexia, Salthacilla, and Vivek actually killed Nerevar themselves. So they're not happy with him. Whew! 
Caius. We're going back to Caius. I wonder if there's a township in this direction. For fast travel and such. Let me auto save. I just did a lot there. I just did like 10 minutes worth of reading. Although I just I just remembered something. Uh let's do Alpha Seeker. Where am I? Nisus, okay. That works. As I said in previous videos, if you use Divine Intervention, there's a chance it just drops you in the fort in the middle of nowhere. We make a special trip. That's something else I mentioned in um, my review about the Nerevarine prophecies. This is a like a chosen one story, but with a twist. It's like there's no ghost guiding you, there's no spirit guide, there's no voice in your head telling you what you should do next. It's with pleasure. Please. It's pretty much completely fabricated. And I think that's really cool. Alrighty. <clears throat> Sounds like you could really be the Nervarine. That's just incredible. But I'll have to get used to the idea. Let me try to get word to Mehra Milo. Maybe she can find out where the descendant priests have any lost prophecies. But in the meantime, I have a very tough assignment for you. I think you're ready. Before you head out, make sure you outfit yourself with healing potions, new gear, a little training, whatever you think you need most. And remember, if you get in trouble, back off, rest up, and go back. Rest. Fort Buckmuth has sent a patrol to Narmok. Hunting smugglers with the six house connections. They found a base. Alright. In a cave the locals call Ilan Ilan Ilanibi. Lies south of Algro. Okay. Now there's a way to cheese the Corpus disease to get like incredibly strong and spam levels, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all that. Trip just for you. Same low price. It's mostly because I forgot how. <laughs> I think it just wants me to go to Narmok.
Alaskan Narmok, okay. What we gotta do. I didn't really fully expect to do a full play of this, but man, this this game is playable, man. Uh I gotta figure out which one it connects Where to. Would you like to go? We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. No, I'm not. Nope. How get? Where would you like to go? No. the coast oh here let me mark it on your map see there we go that's what I needed oh you gotta like go there let me auto send let me quick save this is a full on trip I'm a pathfinder. Okay, here we go. a little better than last time. That's 40 pounds. That does not look like it should be 40 pounds. <laughs> Got some pretty beefy potions on them. Wow, that's pretty impressive, actually. Makes me wonder why he didn't use it. Probably because he wasn't carrying any bolts. This tomb is hilarious. I bet Narmok had a, um, a ship connection. I bet I could have gotten there. On a boat. I'm on a 
I remember that Chrome Forger, it's always there. Dead bar. Get a map mod. See if that's on the Nexus. Okay, this cave is like it's out there somewhere. Oh, there's a thieves guild quest related to here. Speaking of. might be related to the quest. So there might not be anything under it. Yeah, but I need to see what connects here. Yes, but first. North end of the island. Alright, let's see how badly I've wasted my time. Cool! There was a connection. Oh, a lot old is where the uh, that quest is, I think. So north. It's either over here or over there. I just heard like three guys. Yeah, it's right there. That might have been who I heard. Quick save. Looking for that hot loot. And because I'm level 55, I'm probably going to run into some interesting things. Marilette, spine. I did Moro Oblivion for a little bit, but if memory serves, it wasn't the most stable of things, but I think I remember getting this far into it, and it was a pretty faithful recreation. It... Oh man, I'm looking at my OBS preview, that's gross. Is 
see if I had a better body mod, these guys would have been rushing me dicks out and all. seen that before. Hopefully you can see it too. <laughs> Man, they throw a lot at you. Carcass of the Saint. Quick save. Because I think this is where you get the corpus disease, but I don't recall. Wow, this is incorrect. Yeah, muscle memory's not saving me here. Gandalf and Lord of the Rings. I have no memory of this place. That one. Yeah, this is the one I didn't do. Blackened Heart? I don't remember this. is ringing a bell. I wonder if this is where the two best gloves in the game are. Look upon it and weep, folks. This is an old school flame astronaut. This is what peak performance looks like. I can definitely see why this would probably be considered kind of tough, and why Case Cassades tells you to go train up first. Because it's a very large dungeon with some pretty tough enemies. Like that attack did like 20 damage on its own. Like let's say you roll 10 with like 100 hit points. You know. Oh! The six house greets you Lord Nerevar. Nerevar, or Dib as you call yourself. I am known as Dagoth Garrus, priest of the Ilnubidida, Ilnidi Shrine. Minister to the Sixth House Service. My Lord Degather has informed me of your coming. I wish that this time you had come to honor your Lord's friendship, not to betray it. I'm not going to read all this. <laughs> I'm going to take a drink while you read this. Maybe even pause it if you want to. He's basically doing the we can rule together type thing. Alright, 
All right. With his dying breath, they got they off the gathers, smiles and curses you. Even as my master wills, you shall come to him in flesh and of his flesh. And now I have corpus. And now I will be continually drained. Lord Vorin Dagoth. So that was his name, Vorin. Five pound hammer, decent damage. There they are. Fortify strength and agility. And they're heavy though. I did not realize that. And by doing that, I've lost 20 points of armor rating. Alright, nearly at an hour. So I think I'm done here. Yeah, the shimmer makes it look weird, but these are like the best gloves. They don't fit much, but I may go do some external uh, research about this disease to see how I can counteract because I think every day you lose a point. But I think there's a way where you can like uh, twist it to your favor. As, as it were. With pleasure. Please go ahead. I'm all ears. Traveler. Canvas my informants for possible treatments just in case you contact contracted the disease during the mission. I learned from Fast Eddie. Best chance of getting a cured is Debe Fear, an ancient and Sylvania wizard who runs the Corpusarium for victims of the disease. Take this Dwemer artifact. Eddie the Rat. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, gold is for expenses, and here's a couple of occasion potions. Okay. Go to tell fear. There we go. There's a dock but no boat service. So you must water walk or swim from Sage with Mora. Cool. I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for joining me. Toodles.